Most runners wildly overcomplicate the whole process. See, there are only really three types of run you need to focus on if you want to start running faster and further, and you don't need to be running crazy high mileage. First up is the long, slow, easy aerobic base building run. These runs are all about building your stamina and endurance at a conversational pace, where you and I could have a chat back and forth if we were to be running together. No need for gasping for breath, just run at a pace where you can control your breathing without struggling. If you're training with heart rate, this would be in heart rate zone two, nice and easy. These runs are critical when it comes to building a base of endurance. They should make up the vast majority of your weekly running mileage. And you know what? It's not just about that one long run. Consistency is key. I'd much rather see you consistently managing to fit in two or three easy runs during the week than struggle to find time for a single long run at the weekend. Yes, there's an added benefit for an easy paced one and a half to two hour run or longer, but don't discount the huge benefits of consistently hitting your goal mileage week after week in manageable chunks. Then there's interval training. This is where you really up the ante, but just for short bursts with plenty of time for recovery between efforts. Six times 800 meter reps with a 90 second walking recovery in between those reps is a classic workout. This type of training is amazing for improving your VO2 max, essentially how effectively your body uses oxygen when running. But here's the thing, you've got to be so careful not to overdo it when it comes to this kind of high intensity work. Once a week is adequate for the vast majority of runners. Remember, it's all about quality, not quantity. Before I tell you about one of my favorite ways to keep the runners that I coach injury free, let's talk about tempo workouts. These super effective running workouts are all about finding that sweet spot where you're pushing hard, but not going all out. Tempo workouts help you to improve your lactate threshold as your body adapts to be able to run faster for longer. You also mentally learn to deal with fatigue better. For lots of runners, their tempo pace is close to their 10K race pace. So if you're unsure, you can try heading out for a tempo run where you aim to run a nice easy 10 minute warm up into 20 minutes at your 10K race pace and then finish with an easy 10 minute cool down. A good running watch will help you to maintain a consistent pace and effort. And if you want to get really adventurous and double up on the benefits by building some strength in your legs, you can do so by trying to run that workout on a significantly hilly route and focusing on 10k race effort rather than 10k race pace. The hills will dictate your pace, you just have to keep the effort high throughout. Again, once per week is quite enough for this kind of tempo workout. One thing that so many runners that I've worked with over the years have really benefited from is only having one intensity day in the running week. Let's say, for example, a Thursday, and alternating between intervals one Thursday and tempo workouts the next. That way you get the benefits of both over a longer period without overreaching in your training and getting injured. Trust me, if you only focus on these three types of run, you'll be running faster for longer in no time. Remember, tracking your progress is key to improvement, and the Coros Pace 3 and their new heart rate monitor are both great tools for this. It's not just about running faster for longer, it's about running smarter, and you can't do that without good data. Next up, watch the video linked on screen right now where I put two popular heart rate monitors head to head in a science lab. The results, well the results were pretty wild, I'll see you over there.